Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I purchased these really cute star dies on Amazon. I have been purchasing a lot of my dies and um, just a few supplies on Amazon because I haven't really gotten a chance to, I don't really get a chance to go craft shopping so I do it at night. But anyway, I will post a link below to this particular set that I purchased um, in case you're interested. But I was looking at them today and I decided, you know what, I'm going to take the largest one, which is this one, and I think it makes a cut. Let me just measure really quick for you guys. From point to point, it's a almost four and three quarter inches if that's any help yes just about four and three quarters so I decided I was going to take the largest one and create a little pocket with a tag inside and have it hold a gift card so for teacher appreciation so this is the one that I came up with and the gift card sticks out, but I, I don't know. I just think it's kind of really cute. So the chalkboard, I used, you got a set of six of these, and I don't remember where I purchased them. I want to say they were at Michael's, but I have seen these at the Dollar Tree as well. And they may be a little different, but you could use those if you'd like. And I know we don't all have the same things or the same things at our Dollar Trees, but... This Books and Apple set, I'm pretty sure I got these at the Dollar Tree quite a while ago. And um, I purchased two of them, so I was able to, I'll be able to use another one of these. But you guys can decorate them however you'd like. And then the thank you sentiment came from this stamp set here from Inka Dinka Doo. And I use this big one right here. I love it because it has just, you know, all kinds of different fonts for saying thank you. And I use some seam binding and then I have these tiny little gold stars. And I purchased those adhesive gems at Joann's. And that's about it. So here's the gift card. And then I made another little star so that I could write a set, you know, what I want to and how I want to say thanks on here. And then this is the back. And it's really simple, quick project I thought we could put together today for teacher appreciation because I know it's coming up at my school. I don't know, you know, it's different weeks wherever you live, but it's coming up, so I thought this might be a cute little thing to consider doing. So the green alphabet um, that you see on the star, I just purchased a single sheet. Um, let me see if I still have some. And it's basically has like the lined paper with the ABCs all over it. I got this at Hobby Lobby. So I took the largest star and I cut out two of those in blue cardstock. And then, not the next one down, but the third one down, I cut out one in white to make the tag, and then two of them with the alphabet. Now these measure, just in case you do not have a die you could use your Cricut if you have stars on it this is a three and a half inch star and I've already pre-cut them so we could just you know kind of put them together the thing about when you glue them is you want to put a very thin line of glue you don't want to get too much glue on these so I've already glued this one and I'm going to glue this one on the front and then we'll pop these together just kind of gives you a little I don't know inspiration to use any of your dies 
you could just take two of them, back them up, back to back, and make a little pocket. Put a little tag inside. That could be your card. Or you could put a little, like, this is, this is a small sticker set, but you could just cut them in half and just pop in, you know, a couple stickers for somebody and a gift package. Um, I'm just deciding, just decided to use mine as a gift card holder. Okay, so I'm going to add glue, but I'm not going to glue this top section. So I'm just going to go from this point and stay as close to the edge as I can. I don't recommend using the double-sided tape because when you go to stick the tag in, it could stick to the double-sided tape on you and that wouldn't be good. So we're leaving this whole point up here and the top of this point and this point without any adhesive. And I'm just going to pop these together. really want to let those dry before I mess around with opening up the pocket. So I'm just going to press these down. Now for the tag, I'm just going to punch a hole in the top of one of the star. I hate when that happens. Okay. In one of the star things and I'm using some black and white gingham ribbon and I think this ribbon is a quarter inch let me check three-eighths three-eighths inch and I purchased that from Paper Mart quite a while ago I used to order my boxes and stuff from there when I did shipping, but not anymore because prices, shipping prices, as you all know, have gone sky high. So I try to look for deals when they have free shipping. That's the only time I really purchase or if I really, really need it. Adding a little bit of hot glue. And just gluing that up there. So now this tag, simple tag, it's all ready for me to um, write my message. So that's finished. And then I'm just going to take, I made um, a, a bow out of seam binding. I'm sorry, I'm kind of tongue-tied right now. But you can tell I'm a little super tired. And then I have my thank you sentiment. So I'm going to take some of this foam tape. Oh, too big. I also get this at the Dollar Tree. And back that up on foam tape so it looks dimensional. And I want to get out one of those stickers. just a fun quick project to do but I think it looks so cute and I'm gonna kind of hang this off as you could see on this one I'm just kind of hanging it off the edge a little bit but I want to make sure that the foam tape doesn't show that's on the back of this so I just want to place that on but before I press it down I'm just gonna look to make sure that tape isn't sticking out. Press it down. This would be cute too. Um, if you're doing a mini album, you could make yourself a pocket for one of your pages and decorate the pocket. You know what? This looks a little crooked to me. Let me see if I can peel this up. 
without tearing it and just adjust it a little bit. Okay, there we go. Anyway, you could create a little pocket, you know, that way. But I think this would be fun to make all kinds of like stars for um, Christmas. You could probably make little pockets and add them into your packages or stocking stuffers. Throw a gift card in there. I'm just throwing out ideas. <laughs> All right, let me get my gems out. Because I did add a gem on the apple. Okay, I already wrote teacher appreciation on my chalkboard. I did it with my white jelly roll pen, but you could probably um, use a chalk marker if that's what you like. And I just stuck mine to the gift card, which is gonna slide in there. <clears throat> Let me see if the pocket is. <clears throat> Sorry guys. I'm gonna go in with my bone folder and I'm just going to push out gently, make sure everything is adhered, but kind of loosen the pocket up a little bit so that I can tuck my tag in. And this takes a little bit to fiddle around with it, but it does fit. And I'm going to get a little hot glue for my seam binding bow. And I'm going to put it right at the top of the green alphabet star. And then I'm going to get another one of those little star gems. But this time I'm just going to put a tiny dot of hot glue on to add some extra adhesive to it. Because I'm going to put that right in the middle of my seam binding bow. Okay, and then let's put our another chalkboard on there. And I think I'm going to slide it right behind the tag. And that's it, guys. That is my little star pocket card gift card holder um, for teacher appreciation. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. You take care and happy crafting.